Hello guys, welcome back to another drill and today I've got a nice 10 ball drill uh, for the diamond pull league but I uh, just want to say a big thank you to my new shirt sponsors uh, Onboard Sportswear uh, very happy with the uh, custom design what I've made I've got uh, four colours uh, blue, green, pink and uh, red you can check them out online at onboardsportswear.com uh, and you can see all the details there very affordable prices the material's amazing, uh, a great feel, and uh, very light on you. And uh, I can't recommend them highly enough. So if you like my shirts or any other shirts, uh, go to their website and check them out. I, I recommend it. And yeah, just like to say a big shout out to them and uh, look forward to uh, a great partnership together. So anyway, let's get back to this drill. So I've got a nice 10 ball drill. Uh, for the guys with a rate number 500, the cue ball must hit at least two rails after contact each ball. Can't bump another ball. And the guys under 500, uh, one rail's okay. But again, you've got to go in order. Uh, start with ball in hand, and uh, we'll give it a go. And uh, and I'll and I'll talk you through it as well. Right then guys, so let's give it a go. So the first shot here is going to play with a touch of left, high on the cue ball. Whenever you're playing these type of shots, you just want to miss the side pocket. So I sort of aim like for the first diamond here, or just half a diamond before the side pocket. So just high on the cue ball, just to trace a left. Try and leave a nice angle for the next shot. Come further down what I would have liked here, like here would have been perfect. So now I'm in a situation where if I punch up, very difficult obviously, and there's a lot of players want to try and draw this and come this way, but the problem when you come with this angle here, your margin for error and your target to landing is very, very small coming from this angle here. So, so we are going to play with a touch of right, just to get the white ball just to, to float up and maybe hit here and just float up for the three. Where if I play this with left, I'm going to kiss into the nine ball. So high on the cue ball with a touch of right. Pocket. I played that very nicely. So a nice angle on the free ball here. Two options, I can go up and down, but again, very difficult to avoid the six. So I'm just going to spin this in, but this time come come after the side pocket. Where if I come here, I'm going to land around here on the four ball, which is no good. So I'm going to aim for the first diamond here. So just again, just a bit of left. So perfect, just missed that bump there. So I always spun the ball just fractionally, but it's not too bad. We'll take it more angle than what, than, what, than what I would have liked, but should be okay. So I'm going to play this with eye on the cue ball with a touch of right. Not too bad. I would have liked more angle uh, uh, here. So again, there's a lot of players what could what what would choose to draw this and come this way. Again, it's a bit easier this time because you don't have any balls in the way, but still not really liking that option. If I play with left, I'm going to kiss the seven. So I'm going to play the same shot as what I played in the two ball. So just a touch of left, and hopefully just come here with a white ball and back down. you've got to play two rails so here I can spin it in a lot of extreme spin and come here which is okay so you can go up and down the table so it's maybe personal preference with this type of shot but I think I'd probably spin this ball in so a lot of bottom right let the cue ball do all the work really plenty of angle so again, go be careful to not kiss the 10 ball here. So if I just played this with follow and a touch of right, I'd be very close to kissing the 10 ball. So here, just going to play just below centre with a touch of right, but I've got to whip the ball, not, not baby it. See, just like that. Just a nice, nice stroke on that. Same shot again here, just want to come high, just to, just to maybe a, a diamond below the side pocket. A lot of players maybe try and come above the side pocket, but very tricky. If you don't hit it good, there's a good chance of scratching. So just below centre. Well, you can 
perfect. So I, I didn't really play much in English on that shot, just played it just, just a touch around. So the same again here, but, my, but this is more of a punch shot, not, no English on the cue ball. Again, but remember when you get to the 10 ball, you've got to hit two rails. I'm just going to punch this in. And just like that. So it's a really good drill, very good for your pattern play. But what I like about the drill is that it's great for cue ball speed control, like going up and down the table, getting the field, playing the right pattern, playing the right shot to, to avoid the side pockets and also avoiding the ball so it's a really good drill for your pattern play and your uh, cue ball speed so really good drill uh, tougher than what it looks but really good uh, practice drill and it really improve your uh, pattern play and uh, the cue ball speed so uh, so that's uh, a really good drill for you guys to work on so i hope you enjoy it and give it a go and we'll see you next time